Nepenthes or tropical pitcher plants are surprisingly easy to care for. By ensuring proper light, humidity, temperature, watering, and soil, these carnivorous plants can thrive as houseplants or outdoor plants in suitable environments. There's three types of Nepenthes, highland, intermediate, and lowland. Nepenthes are grouped into three different types based on the preferred temperature range. Nepenthes need about 12 to 14 hours of bright, indirect light. Some ideal locations include sunny window seals or under grow lights. Let's talk temperature. Generally, during the daytime, you want to keep it between 70 and 90 degrees, and at night, temperatures of 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, temperature varies by species and hybrid. Now, while high humidity is ideal, Nepenthes can adapt to household conditions. However, increased humidity promotes better growth. You can use a humidifier, but ensure that there's adequate airflow. For most intermediate Nepenthes, the ambient room humidity will do, especially after bag acclimation. Check our bag acclimation guide for details. How should I water my pitcher plants? Now this is important. Nepenthes require pure water from distilled, rain, or reverse osmosis water. We recommend you top water your Nepenthes. Top watering is just pouring water directly onto the soil surface around the base of the plant, allowing it to seep down to the roots. In order to prevent rot, avoid keeping the soil soggy during bag acclimation. Let's talk soil. A chunky potting mix is recommended to allow the roots to dry out enough to remain healthy. We recommend a mix of one to one to two sphagnum moss, bleached coconut chips, and perlite. Make sure that all ingredients lack added fertilizers or nutrients, and that the cocoa chips are leached below 40 ppm. But we also made it easy for you, and we offer pot and soil kits in our shop. Alternatively, you can use a very basic mix of one part perlite to one part long-fibered sphagnum moss. A common question is when should I repot my pitcher plant? Nepenthes don't like to be overpotted, and can thrive in the same pot for several years. However, Consider repotting if the plant becomes unstable, the roots start to protrude from the bottom, the soil dries out too quickly after watering, or the media deteriorates into a mushy texture. How should you feed your pitcher plant? Nepenthes require occasional feeding to sustain growth. You can feed them bi-weekly with cricket powder, bugs, dead or alive, or fish food. Another option is placing one pellet of Osmocote in the pitchers monthly. My pitchers on my plant are turning black. If it's entirely brown or black, you can just trim it off. Pitchers will shed naturally. They sometimes die off during periods of stress, such as during transit or bag acclimation. You don't need to be concerned. Now here's the answer to some of the most common questions we get. Do pitcher plants go dormant? Can pitcher plants be grown outside? Why do pitcher plants eat insects? Why are my pitcher plant leaves turning yellow? Why is my pitcher plant not growing pitchers? What's a good beginner pitcher plant? We have a whole section of the best beginner-friendly plants that are perfect for your first carnivorous plant. 